I don't know what they're thinking. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I am kind of rather excited to make this video because I've been talking about this for years and now I have a reason to make a video about it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Without further ado, let me get started. This will all make sense in a minute, but to give y'all a little bit of back, background information, I guess, um, I have been a social media manager in LA for, well, in LA for like three years, overall for four years, four major brands, so I know really what I'm doing in this space. I've worked with major influencers for two or three years now as well. So I know what I'm doing, what I'm talking about. I'm not like some random person that doesn't know what they're saying, you know? Okay, let me get into it so it makes more sense. So recently, Victoria's Secret released that they are closing down a bunch of their stores and everyone's like, oh my gosh, man, I've been saying this for years. Let me tell y'all what, Victoria's Secret, it's 2019. Like, get with the program. Not everyone is a skinny twig. And it's so funny because I'm sure their marketing team took leaps and bounds to get influencers and, you know, mix up their models in their Victoria's Secret fashion shows and, like, try to add a little bit of diversity, their version of diversity in, which is still diverse, but, like, are you kidding me? Like, can we get some curvy women? Can we get, like, what the population looks like? This is what happens when corporate America doesn't let a social media manager do their job properly. I have been in conversations with many major brands and oh my gosh, they make me crazy because they think things need to be done to look like billboards, but people do not want billboards. I shall explain. Let me screen record on my phone real quick. And it's funny because if their marketing team had a good social media manager or someone to speak up, they wouldn't have this problem in the first place. At least like this bad. So let me quickly go to their page. By the way, I teach a course on social media management. It's coming out soon and I go over some of this in the course, but I just wanted to make a whole dedicated video because why not? So if you look at the Victoria's Secret page, I can instantly tell you what performs the best and I haven't seen this beforehand. Look, it is a bunch of models looking like billboards, looking like ads in a magazine. Let me show y'all what happens when you do that. Look at that engagement, 58,000. Then you go to these bras, 61,000. Now, I'm willing to bet you that this selfie photo, which is more realistic, everyday life, not overly retouched, has better engagement. Let's watch, shall we? Oh my god, shocking! How did I do that? How did I know that? Because I know what I'm doing. Let's try it again. We have this model, 78,000. Then we have this red carpet photo, over 115,000. Shocking! It, yes, it may have a little bit of retouch or whatever, but like it's more realistic. It's not like a however many thousands of dollars photo shoot. I mean, come on, people want to see this realistic stuff. Look, 259,000 for this selfie. Hello, I have been saying this. It's rarely gonna be these overly photoshopped photos unless there's like a special sale, there's a special holiday or whatever. Like, I don't know who on their marketing team is not understanding this. And then I went to Victoria's Secret recently and I used to be all about their little underwear deal, you know? And I don't know what they're thinking, like, I don't want to wear lacy hipster underwear. I wear leggings all the time, and then when I'm not, I want to wear like boy short, comfortable underwear. Am I crazy? Like those, I want to wear something that you can't see when I'm wearing leggings, and I want to wear something comfortable when I'm not wearing leggings. I don't want to wear all this lacy stuff and all this weird stuff like, and then also Victoria's Secret. I don't know if y'all are like behind on life, but it has been uncool for at least 10 years to put your logo on everything. If you have watched an influencer review of a brand lately, other than like, you know, like the really expensive luxury brands that people like that kind of deal, but if you watch a normal review and you look at who your consumers are, almost anyone will tell you they do not like stuff all over. Like no one wants to wear pink right here. Am I crazy? People tell me am I crazy. I mean, it's like they're so out of touch, like I don't know what happened. But I went to Victoria's Secret recently and nothing was appealing whatsoever. Like, when I was a kid, everything was appealing, but it's almost like they just kind of fallen behind. The problem with stuff like this is that when you have a corporate company such as their self, I guarantee you that it takes like pulling, breaking off an arm and a leg to get anything done. So like if someone on their team is smart and useful and like knows their demographic a little bit better, knows like the style, then they're able to change it. But it's a corporate company, so it's like impossible to change it. So then you end up with the same stuff, 
and they're not evolving. They've literally evolved nothing. They slapped their logo on everything. Like, people don't want that. If you wonder why your stores are closing, your styles have been way far behind for a long time. People want to see, like, people that they're represented. They don't want to see these stick figure girls. Yes, I totally love them so much. I think the models are fabulous. I think it's cool that they're really strong and fit. That's really cool. But not having, like, every single one of them, it's like in makeup. Like, when they don't have all the foundation shades, like, it's the same concept. Like, they don't have a representation of all the women. You know what I mean? Like, they have all the different colors, but they don't have all the different shapes and sizes. So, I don't know what they're thinking. It blows my mind. And then their stuff isn't even that comfortable, and it's expensive. I'm sorry, but you cannot compete with, like, some of the other brands. You have to look at who your competition is. This is, like, day one marketing, so I'm confused why they're so, like, far back. And I, I won't name other names, but I've been on the phone with other corporate brands, popular brands that you see in many malls to work on their social media, and I've literally said, you know what, I'm not interested because you are corporate as heck, and I'm gonna get nothing done. Because when you're corporate, you gotta ask 50 million people for permission to do anything, and you have to stay along this boring, narrow line that looks like a magazine, and people on social media, like, if, uh, people on social media just don't wanna see that. They wanna see real stuff, you know? In the end, like, if they would just have a good social media manager that did their job and tracked their analytics, like, they could easily see what the problem is. They're not being real enough. They're being too fake, and, yeah, get with the times, Victoria's Secret. They should honestly come as like no surprise to anyone on their team if they got their head out of their butts. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but for real, like, how does no one on their team see this? Like, I would love to know what their big plethora of team is focused on. Like, is it always the photo shoots and all this stuff and putting together campaigns? And then on top of it, their influencer program that is essentially non-existent is really pathetic. It's 2019. You cannot just send, like, Desi Perkins a couple perfumes and put a few people at a fashion show. Like, that's not good enough. You need to get people doing hauls of your new swimsuits, because I guess they're supposedly coming out with swimsuits now. I don't know. That's what I heard. Like, they need to be doing things differently. Have you ever heard of lounge underwear? Like, they blew up online because they have all these influencers pushing lounge underwear. Good for them. That's awesome. Victoria's Secret needs to be doing the same thing. Another problem with some of these other brands that I was on the phone with that I was mentioning, the corporate brands, as well as Victoria's Secret, is they are so, like, ageism old school. Like, if you say you are a social media manager or, like, you're an expert in this field and you're under the age of, like, 25, forget it. Just forget it. They look at you like you're crazy. They want someone that has, like, 50 million degrees and all these years of experience to be on their team. And you know what you get with that? Old school marketing. You do not get the new school stuff, and it's the same thing. Man, I want to say the name of the other brand so bad, but I'm not going to. Um, and the same brand that I was, this one particular brand that I'm talking about also does the same thing. Literally, as soon as I said I was 25, they blew me off. And I'm like, and you wonder why you have millions of followers and your engagement is completely horrible. It's because you don't know what your audience wants. Man, if you're interested in the social media world, or being a social media manager, you're gonna run into this stuff all the time. And that is why I essentially refuse to work for a corporate company at this point because they don't get it. It's a headache. It's people that you just want hit over the head because they don't understand. Ugh. Even their social media strategy, like, come on. It's not hard to look at analytics. I don't even have my analytics running on Victoria's Secret, like this tool I use. And I can just look, like, quickly and see what they're doing wrong. It's not hard. It's not hard. I'm 25. I don't have a college degree. I learned this in four years, and I can easily tell you what you're doing wrong as a brand overall. I'm sure there's like other back-end problems like spending and whatever and hiring too many people and all of like the random tidbits that go along with it. I'm just saying like from the outside looking in, they're not evolving. They're staying far behind, and they're going to continue that trail until someone, they hire someone that knows what's going on. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for sticking around on this random rant. It just, ugh. Corporate companies make me so angry and, like, they make me crazy. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you would like for me to rant about any other social media influencer-based things, brands, topics, let me know. I have a lot to say, and I just keep it all bottled up and on the inside because, I don't know, I just feel like people 
might not like this kind of content. So if you do like this kind of content, let me know down below. I'll see y'all guys next time. Bye.